What's going on, fellas? So here we are, got the Jeep. And I couldn't find the freeze plugs at uh, like Advanced Auto Parts or anything like that, so I'll have to order them online. But before we do that, I want to do a compression test because uh, the freeze plug blew out. I don't know if it blew out or rust out. We'll find out when we take everything off, but uh, we're going to do a compression test first. So, here it is. Brand new compression tester. Gauge on there. We got this end right here, and it also came with an adapter in case it's a different size. Um, let's see. The cooling fan got a new relay, so maybe that'll activate the fan. We'll find out. But that'll be, you know, when I can actually get the vehicle safely up to temperature. So I got all the, all the caps off. So now I'm gonna take out all the free or the uh, the spark plugs. It's gonna be fun since all I have is a fucking giant ass half inch drive. I don't know, maybe I can do some adapter magic, the hex bit into a half inch or something. I don't fucking know. I need smaller tools. All right, that'll be fun. Okay, I'll be back in a little. Here's the spark plugs. Let's see if I can get this steady for you guys. And this is um, the one on the left over here. This is the, the last plug. This is the first plug, and they're going in a order from front to from back to front. This one I had to spray a little penetrating lube on because that motherfucker just would not come out. Also, they kind of look like they're different brands. Another hooray to the previous Jeep owner. I got a uh, thing right here. We got plugs one through six, and we got dry test and wet test. I'm gonna do all the dry tests first, then we'll do all the wet tests. Make sure everything's out of the way. Mission system is disabled. All right. There we are. Let's plug one. All right, cylinder two. And thirty again. Cool. Next, cylinder three. Looking at a nice one thirty. All right, here's cylinder four. A little bit lower, but still looking pretty, pretty average. Starting at dark out, here's cylinder five. That one's looking a little lower than before. That one's about 118. That might be the one where the freeze plug is out. Gonna try five again for good measure. That one's a little higher, seems to drop a little bit, so that one's looking at about, let's see, 123, 124. Alright, cylinder six. About 124, 123. So that's what we're working with so far on the dry. 130, 130, 130, 128, 124, and 123. It seems like towards the back of the engine it starts to lose a little bit of pressure. Nothing major. Might have to set up the lights to do the wet test. It's a little dark out, but uh, for the wet test, got some oil in this bottle right here. I'm going to squirt some into each cylinder and test everything again. Here we go.
should be enough. Pop the cap back on there. All right, let's begin the process again. Goes in a lot easier the second time. Okay. All right, here we go. Cylinder one, wet test. One thirty-five. About one thirty-five. Okay. Wet test cylinder two. Oh wow, look at that one, that's all, all the way up to 150. So maybe I didn't get enough oil on the first one. It's 151. Okay, here we are, this is what? Cylinder three wet test. That's about 136, 137. Okay, cylinder four, wet test. That one right now is looking at about 141. All right, this is cylinder five, wet test. Hundred and forty one. All righty, finally, cylinder six wet test. Look at that, that's it. 157? 157. All right, so those are my readings right there. One through six. Dry is pretty average, except for towards the back it starts to low down. Uh, and the wet, it's kind of all over the place. It's a little strange. I'm not sure if I actually put enough oil in all the cylinders. But like 2 is 150, 6 was 157. I don't know. What do you think? Alrighty, everything's back in place. Got the water hoses back on. Nice and tight. Got all the spark plugs in, hooked all the caps back up, hooked the main cap back onto the uh, starter. So, just uh, to make sure, we'll give it a crank and see if she starts up. Alrighty, well then, all that smoke, that's from the, uh, the freeze plug. So yeah, that'll be fun to change. Now, uh, I replaced the, uh, cooling relay, like I told you, on the, the cooling fan. And, uh, I don't know if you heard it, but I kicked on the, uh, the air compressor, and the fan turns on now. So, it looks like all that was wrong 
was the relay. But you know, this guy doesn't understand relays. He sat here and fucking cut this wire and brought it over there. But uh, yeah, battery's about to die. So uh, until next time, see ya.